74.95. Not 74.99. It's 74.95. You buying a fight? Hmm? You know, I can't honestly believe that it's actually here. Like, it's really, really here. We got to talk about who's going to win. Go ahead. Talk that shit. You going with Mikey Garcia? Who's going with Mikey Garcia? Who's going with Mikey Garcia? Put your damn money where your mouth is. Say it here. Say it now. Put your damn money where your mouth is. And yes, you guys are getting it on um, ITV, free ITV over in the UK. But you didn't get Porter versus Ugas, did you? That's weird, right? Put your damn money where your mouth is. Who's going to win? I'm going to stay on the fence. I'm telling you, I'm staying on the fence. I'm a chicken shit. I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm staying my black ass on the damn fence. I'm staying on the fence. I was saying in the video earlier, I can't deal with no more of the emotional abuse. What if I tell you that my heart is saying Mikey Garcia, but I know damn well he too small. What's going to happen when he get punched in the stomach? You know, can he take the punch? That's what it's going to be about. Can he take the punch? You know, this is not the first time a smaller fighter tried to do something great. You know, he try, he gonna try, he gonna try. People been saying, you know, T Street, something is wrong with you, bro. You don't be getting no pussy. Why you keep talking about Mikey Garcia's scrotum and his balls? Because they're magical, like no homo. I'm wondering, like, yo, what makes him think he can go up and beat the boogeyman at 147 pounds? Shit. He's got big balls. <laughs> he got big balls. He got big balls. His balls is big. You know? No, I'm staying on the fence. I, I'm not, y'all ain't, listen, y'all ain't shit. Y'all not, y'all not gonna, y'all not gonna let me live it down. Like if I say, yo, listen, remember I told you I was, I was, I did a video earlier. I picked Chavez Jr. to beat Sergio Martinez and to beat, um, motherfucking Fafara. And obviously it's from far, so we should have probably known, you know. I mean, we probably thought that he was, but I, th I thought he was going to be Canelo. I said Robert Guerrero in my drunken stupor. I wish you to be drunk and shit. I said he was going to be Floyd Mayweather. I, listen, listen, listen. Something in my, and I'm, and I'm not one of them people that's going to come on here and say I told you so either. But if Mikey Garcia is going to win, then look what happened with um, Porter versus Ugas. We thought that Sean Porter just was going to maul him. Sean Porter couldn't get in on the inside. You know, can Mikey Garcia keep Errol Spence at bay? No, I didn't say no fucking fucking field that he could KO Canelo. Fuck out of here. Don't don't try to put that shit on me, man. See, see? Don't try to put that shit on me, man. Don't try to put that shit on me. Here, just so y'all can see. Um, where should I put it at? Should I put it down here? Yeah. Hold up. Don't try to put that shit on me, man. See, I know I'm an easy target. Everybody always blaming me for shit. I'm an easy target. Here, let's zoom in. So who dropping that $74.95? Who dropping that money? Who dropping that bread on the fight? Hmm? I got to buy it. That's my, you know, how we going to work? How we going to work? We got to buy it. You know? The undercard, I'm not really interested in, you know, it's David Benavidez. Here, that undercard, if you go into the fight, though, you're going to be there for eternity. Look at the undercard. Let's count how many fights on here. You going to be there for motherfucking eternity. And the fucked up part about it is they did it with Robert Guerrero fights. Uh, Robert Guerrero last fight. Jesus Cuellar last fight on, on um, uh, PBC on Fox last card. With Sean Porter Ugas. Like they, they keeping these guys like in dark matches. Like trying to build them back up. But not knowing that us fans want to see these fights. But I guess they don't want it just in case these fighters lose. Like Robert Guerrero. Or, you know, a Chris Areola, or I guess a Cuellar, or what was the one a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, they didn't air. But anyway, look, let's count how many fights are in this joint. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, 16, 17. He's back. Yo, pay attention. If you go to the fight, don't let him get y'all anymore, y'all. If he get knocked out again, make sure y'all get some footage. Get there early. He probably going to be the first fight. T-Street just gave y'all the scoop. He probably going to be the first fight of the night. That footage is out there because they do arena feeds. So 
the footage is out there, but they keep it under wraps. Deontay Wilder brother. I'm not trying to clown him or play him or nothing, but I don't like how they trying to keep the footage hidden. So get there. If you go into the fight, get there first. I'm telling you, they probably going to bring him out. Who's he fighting? Mark Sanchez, 0-2, this guy. <laughs> Where you get this? Where's Mark Sanchez come from? Boxing is funny. I love box rec. You be finding some funny ass shit on here. <laughs> you be finding some funny ass shit on box rec, yo. <laughs> Oh my, I can't tell you some of the names and some of the people I've come across on box rec. And then when you go look them up and they be having footage, let's see. Nah, this name is too fucking, we're going to find fucking the football player. I, I know he got some footage. He got some footage out there against John King. You got to have some footage. What card was this? Huh? Some, you got to find some footage on my man. But anyway, all right, all right, shh. let's get back to business. Let's get back to business. So yeah, this is the undercard right here. So basically the fights that, you know, I'm hoping that we see. If I'm from my understanding, there's going to be a Fox, you know what? Let's just go look at it. I got the Fox Sports one. Here's the here's the Fox Sports Go app. So where are we going? Let's go look at boxing. Um home. Let's go look at what the uh where's the schedule? Damn it. What's this? It's the ad. Here's the undercard that there, but I'm trying to figure out where are these fights coming on at. So I believe these three or these four are likely going to open up the pay-per-view. Well, no, these, no, Spins Garcia, Benavidez, Jillian Love, Neri Arroyo, and Ariola Augustine will likely open up the pay-per-view, but we're going to check in a minute. And then these fights like Charles Martin, Corbin, Garcia, uh, Olea Rodriguez, you know, and these fights are probably likely going to be on the Fox Sports 1 pre-pay-per-view card, prelims. And these are probably going to be dark matches that you got to be in an arena to see. So let's go look at it right now. Now, how do you look at it? Schedule, right? Go to schedule. Let's see. Damn it, this always messes me up. It's a little weird the way they do it. Just give me the damn. Damn it. Oh, they asking me to sign in. See, they are, it's always some shit. You know, I'll do it. I'll, I'll sign in later. It's always some shit. Not to change the subject, but you see Floyd Sr. boo. I mean, well, yeah, of course. You know, like Floyd Sr. one of them people that just going to boo him because they don't like his pop I and mean, his son. You know, I don't really get concerned in that type of shit. That's like the tabloid stuff that like you can do videos on and get a lot of views. But really, I don't give a fuck about no shit like that, man. Too old for that crap. Hold on, I'm trying to fix something. T Street's too damn old. But um what was I looking for? Oh, we was talking about the undercard. Hold up, they was asking me to me sign in first so we can go look around. always something right but i noticed ain't nobody saying they buying the fight y'all some shit man y'all always talking about how much the fighters going to be making and then as soon as it's announced somewhere how much the fighters are going to be making y'all going to be talking shit but y'all not buying the fight y'all make me sick sometimes man y'all just make me sick you know okay so here we are we got the um schedule here so Click on the little PBC right here, right here, and it's going to, you know, go to all the PBC content. So this is what they have on replay right now. What do you have on replay? The Porter versus Ugas post-fight show. We need to watch that, get that out of the way. We need to get our thoughts out on that. Um, fight Camp Part 3 aired yesterday. I missed one. I got to do this video. Ooh, let's take a sneak peek. Ooh, I can't show it to you all, but let's take a sneak peek. Pause. Ooh. Let's take a sneak peek. Shh. Shut up. All right, so we can watch the intro. I think that should be fair use enough. 
but we can't watch the whole thing. Y'all gotta have to fucking get Fox Sports. On PBC Fight Camp. We we're pushing the training, peaking right where we're supposed to be. We're right on schedule. I feel really good. I'm excited, and it's just around the corner. Two of them. I envision the fight in my head. I win, but it's just different scenarios how I win. It's nice to spend some time with the kids. Are you gonna be a boxer? Yes! Like my mom and dad always just told me that if you wanna do it, you're gonna do it. You do it to your fullest. Everything that he said is coming true. So he always said, I'm gonna be at the Cowboys Stadium. It's amazing to have two of you, the talent you got, go against each other. Walk in right now, so it's like, wow, this is, this is really happening. It's pretty damn cool. In my head, I want a one-sided beat that. Me just punishing Mikey Garcia. We're not gonna watch the whole thing. We can't. Just like another like one minute. Errol Spence Jr. has been training at the world-class boxing gym for over seven weeks. No one can underestimate the importance of training camp to a fighter. It's where they eat, sleep, and breathe boxing. Yeah, training camp is going good. Uh, Marvin Hagler used to call it, you know, being locked up. And he's called it jail time, and that's, you know, basically how my camp. Well, we'll have you good for the What was that? And what could be better than taking home a new bed for no money down? Or on on the man, they got commercials, they tripping. I was, you know, with Floyd Mayweather, I gave him a black eye. Whoa! And uh, they say with Adrian Bronner, Peterson, Floyd. Hold up. We got to listen to that. We got to listen to that. We got to listen to that. Hold up. Hold up. We got to listen to that. Remember those uh, rumors about him knocking out Adrian Broner and giving Floyd Mayweather the vampire facial? We got to listen to that. Here, just to be on the safe side. Just to, just, just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. All right? Barring has earned him a somewhat mythical reputation over the Hold years. Hold up. Another, wait, wait. Start it over. Another 10 seconds. At least three times a week, he sharpens his skills in preparation for the Garcia fight. Spence's passion for sparring has earned him a somewhat mythical reputation over the years. When I was an amateur, I sparred with uh, Adrian Rana, Sean Porter, Lamont Peterson, Floyd Mayweather. Some of the quote-unquote stories that came out was, you know, with Floyd Mayweather, I gave him a black eye. And uh, they said with Adrian Rana, I hurt him real bad. None of them true. <laughs> What makes him the best is more or less he's an all-around fighter. He's very smart. People underestimate his boxing. Y'all don't think it's true? Y'all don't think he gave Floyd the vampire facial? You know? I don't know. What if he not trying to start no shit? What if he probably like, yeah, nah, I'm a, I ain't do that shit because he be with AB now. I don't know. He said he ain't do it, though. He said he ain't do it. You know? So say it. Who's going to win? Let me make it easy for y'all. Type E for Errol Spence Jr. Or type P for Mikey Garcia. How's that? How's that? How's that? Look at his face. People, people outside of them talked about it. That they said they were there. Listen, y'all going to be drunk anyway. Who have who having a uh, quinceanera for the fight? Who having a party for the fight? You having fight parties? I think this is this fight is a fight party type of fight, but it's for hardcore fans. Does it really bring the casual fan out? Do casual fans really know who Mikey Garcia is and Errol Spence? I gotta be honest with you. I'm not hearing about it here. In, the, in, in I'm not hearing about it. Why do people keep asking me if I'm going to the fight? Hell, no, I'm not going to the fight. I got. I'm going to be out in the field tomorrow. Is the um um the zone um media workout? I got a lot of shit to do this week. In fact, let me tell you what's going on in two hours. That's why we don't have enough time left. Exactly in two hours is going to be the Golovkin official press conference with the zone. Listen to me. At 4:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You see, I put a clock up there now. What is that? I put a clock. I put a clock. See, that's my clock. So I don't have to be saying the time and shit. That's my clock. So at 4.30, it's a press conference, all right? So I got I to gotta go make some lunch, you know, and come back. It's too late now, Omar. It's too damn late. I don't know why. P it's too damn late. It's too, it's too late. And I didn't count the votes anyway. 
Mm. Oh. So how Mikey Garcia going to win? You think you go? Either way, what's going to happen is we're going to see some crazy shit because either Mikey Garcia is going to be knocked out or beat up, you know, or even if Mikey Garcia goes the distance, that's a win for him, right? If Mikey Garcia goes the distance, that's weird. That's like that's 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 a win for him, right? Who's weird? Oh, y'all too worried. Outboxing, yeah. I mean, you know, we thought that Ugas was going to get mauled. We thought that you know Sean Porter was going to be all over him. He wasn't. He couldn't get in. He was too short. But what, if, like, what, you know, Errol Spence can do that to Mikey Garcia if he wants to outbox him. Yeah, I'm go I don't even know what I'm making. My pop got his food stamps. I'm hype as shit. So I'm going to the market with the EBT card. I'm going, we're going to make some wings. He a Deontay Wilder fanboy, though. No, no bullshit. But I'll make some, I'll make some wings. You know what I'm oh. Make some motherfucking wings. Um, shit. I'm like, listen, I'm going, I'm going to be well rested. I'm going to be well rested. Hell yeah, I got the motherfucking EBT. My pop, we got some stamps. See, y'all UK motherfuckers, y'all don't know about that. Y'all don't know about that. You know, I've been paying for a whole bunch of food for too damn long. Shit, it's about time. <laughs> yeah, he motherfucking, like, he like, that's my, that's my boy. I'm like, it's the fanboy. But anyway, um, anyway. Uh, I don't know what EBT stands for. It's food stamps, bruh. Food stamps. So, if you like disabilities, you get food stamps. If you like welfare, you get food stamps. If you Real Housewives of Section 8, you get food stamps. If you got a baby, you get food stamps. They try to give you a little bit of food stamps, though. I had food stamps once in life, but I was so hyped when we got those food stamps. I know. All right, let's get our food stamps. Let's get our food stamps. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I mean, also take into account that Errol Spence is a southpaw. Shit. Mikey Garcia is in for a rough night. Let's go look at the PBC on Fox Twitter page and see if they start hyping up the fight yet. My man Mark Sanchez is fighting Chris Ariola. Oh, we got Loma content. Um, Y'all want to see some Loma shit? Um, it's a Loma media workout going on right now. The stuff is coming. And I'm going to pull it up for you. The stuff is coming in right now. Hold up. I got to send it to my Dropbox. I still got all this Canelo... GGG stuff. I mean, Jacob stuff that I gotta upload. Crazy. This job is rough, man. Uh, what was he looking for? Oh, PBC on Fox Twitter. Let's see where we at. So, truth be told, we gotta start talking about Sean Porter versus Ugas. Like, like now. We run out of time. I got a chance to watch the fight, but I'm still missing two rounds. I didn't like. That's the type of fight you gotta sit down and you gotta be like this. You know. You got to be, you know, like really watching that shit. But I don't feel like it. I be wanting to move on, man. I be wanting to move the move the hell on. Oh, here we are. Some some content. Absolutely huge. The undefeated guy. Um, they have a lot of good content on here. I'm surprised they haven't been able to get their followers up. The PBC on Fox official Twitter page has only 5,300 people there. What the fuck is going on? Jumping up two weight classes. So this is from their PBC weekly show inside PBC boxing. I be I'm, I'm literally just catching up on all the PBC content, you know, so I'm, I'm almost caught up on everything. They doing it every week. It's a one man show doing these videos. So, you know, moving on to the biggest fight of the year that is coming up. You can see it on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view on Saturday. Of course, I'm talking about Errol Spence Jr. Against Mikey North Garcia. Israel. It is live from AT and T oh, wait, Stadium. Salute. It's going to be absolutely huge. The undefeated Garcia jumping up two weight classes to face Spence, the IBF welterweight king. Neither fighter has ever lost. Both fighters are ranked in the top 10 pound for pound. Clearly a monumental fight by all accounts. Uh, Keith, start us off with Errol Spence and what you're expecting from him in this fight. You know, Errol Spence, he's the truth. That's what he always says. He's the truth at 147. 
he feels like he's the best fighter in the world today. And, you know, he's been dominating everybody that he's in the ring with. He's fought bigger guys than Mikey Garcia. I expect him to be dominant, hold his ground, stand his ground, and trade and show Mikey that 147 is a whole new division, it's a whole new weight class, and that, you know, you might not be ready for it. He may have fought bigger guys. Is this still his toughest fight to date, do you think? I, I believe so, because he is fighting a We might have to do Porter Ugas later. That he, po that he has, you know, which is a voice fighter. We Lags, timing is there for both. And I think it's a really tough fight for, from both ends. Um, definitely, definitely the advantage on, on Errol Spence being the bigger, bigger man and, you know, never being defeated like, like Mikey. Uh, a fight that I'm really looking forward to, to watch uh, just because it's so even uh, uh, as far as the IQ, you could say, mm -hmm. on both fighters. It, it sounds like you think, Keith, that, that Mikey has underestimated what it means to step up to 147? A little bit, you know, because the past three fights that he's had, uh, they've been great performances and he's fought top level mm -hmm. opponents. But jumping into 147 is not an easy task. You know, there's more speed here, there's power here, and Mikey is the smaller guy. Mm -hmm. Whenever Mikey wants to throw the jab, Errol Spence is going to be able to throw a hook. You know, and it's not in, in the sport of boxing. We don't call that fair trading. That's not fair trading when when I'm jabbing and you're throwing power punches because you have longer arms than me. So I just Here's think the point. That, you know, Mikey's going to have to be prepared uh, and Errol's going to fight back. You know, Robert Easter was on his back foot the whole time. He was jabbing a lot and um, Errol has a strong stiff jab. He doesn't just fling it out there. I just, I see the challenges and I love Mikey. He's a tremendous fighter, but I'm just not sure if he can accomplish this task and walk away with the victory. Power versus IQ, is that what it's going to come down to? I think it, they both have the IQ. I don't think it's power. I mean, maybe size. Uh, you, you could say that, yeah, the size comes with the power. I think, you know, the size, right? And and, and, and the height and the high ring IQ of uh, Aero Spence that we've seen that if not be if, if if not able to get in on the inside to be the pressure fighter, then he can be the boxer and who has the higher ring IQ. You would think that who would be able to win that battle of being the better um, um, uh, boxer because of the height, right? Meaning, 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 I'm confusing myself. Shit. You would think that you know Spence would be would have the natural advantage of being because he's the because he has the high ring IQ, but also that he's the taller fighter. You know. And I think that people who are um, fight for you, I would like to know your opinion on all this famous boxer thinking that Garcia will win. Hey, listen, people are, you know, people are allowed to have their opinions. What the fuck? This is, you know, America and this is the world and shit. Unless you like some suppressed, oppressed countries and you can't have no rights. But, oh, you know, boxing fans, y'all can pick whoever you want. I'm not one of those people that's going to be like telling you, no, you're wrong. I'm going to be like, ha, ha, ha. That's what you get. You should listen to me. Truth be told, I, you know how many fights I done covered with controversial shit? I just be moving on, man. I cover the fight. You know, I may cover it and talk about it for about another two weeks, maybe three weeks after. Then I'm done. I move the fuck on. Did you notice? I don't be talking about Wilder Fury shit every day, every week. I don't be talking about that shit. I've been moved on, you know? So in regards to fight night, I'm going to cover it. I'm going to be sitting here live. For those who don't know, let me tell you what I do. I'll be sitting right here. I have like some snacks and shit, you know, and then as soon as the final bell about the ring or if I feel somebody about to get knocked out or if somebody do get knocked out and the fight ends early, I'll be like, oh shit. I put my fucking hat on my bald ass head. I get my motherfucking self up, you know, put some motherfucking chapstick on and I click record and I'll be like, oh shit, motherfucker, the time is, but now... I'm probably still going to be saying the time, but now I got the clock up there. Which, which way is the clock? It's, it's this way. Here we go. What's the clock? 